This week on the old Ski Rex Media Podcast, it's it is still preseason, we're going to talk about something we talked about a few times during last season. I want to get it out of the way. We're going to talk about all the lawsuits, the frivolous lawsuits that seem to come around each and every ski season. Let's talk about those and not doing them this week on the Ski Rex Media Podcast. Hello once again everybody, welcome to the old Ski Rex Media Podcast, I am Tim from Ski Rex Media, as you know if you are a regular listener, and if you aren't, then I just introduced myself, and if you are new, please subscribe everywhere, whether you're watching YouTube, or listening on uh, one of the various audio um, version, um, in any of the places you can get the audio version, be it Buzzsprout, which is where it is hosted, or Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio, or Stitcher, or even Amazon Music. Amazon Music now does podcasts, and the Ski Rex Media Podcast is there as well. Go ahead and ask your Alexa to play the Ski Rex Media Podcast um, there if you want, and your Alexa should play it. At least I think it's how it works. I'm not 100% sure. But now that introductions are out of the way, let's go right to the topic this week. This will probably be a quick one. It really will, um, because... It, we, we all know, well, I've talked about this last season. We know how I feel. Um, or again, for the, for the regular followers and subscribers and everybody who is a Ski Rex Media fan, you already know where I stand on this, but we're going to talk about it now to try and nip it in the bud. And if you, d- again, just got introduced, um, you're going to learn. Um, I want to talk about since before, since we're getting, you know, we, we talked about prepping. For the next season and that's great and we're all prepped or in the process of prepping and we know that and it's awesome um and we're getting into winter operations who's going to be opening what and how and what are we doing and whatnot but as we get into all that especially in this COVID-19 season and even though all of the mountains are putting out what they're going to do and it's on their websites and they put it on social media and there's going to be signs everywhere just like there are now Um, And like there has been in the past about other things. Um, I still feel that this is just going to be one big liability mess. I feel that there's going to be lawsuits thrown every which away. And I'll tell you why. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there was the resort in Austria. Was it Austria? Can't remember offhand, but the one that really took the beating for being ground zero um, for that COVID outbreak. I'm pretty sure it was in Austria. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, through social media, email, whatever, links in the description, um, both audio and video version. Um, <laughs> that's right. Hashtag shameless plug. Just saying. Anyway, that that mountain took a real beating over the fact that they were kind of a ground zero. Um you know, and the thing is, is that just recently, and I haven't heard much about it since it made it to the news that there were some lawsuits or might have been or could have been or there was the possibility of lawsuits going against that mountain because of them being ground zero for a COVID-19 outbreak back at the beginning, mind you, back at the beginning. Um, and I almost feel now I'm not I I I. I personally think we're on the, the downhill swing, downhill side of this. We really are, I think, you know, but I'm a hopeful, positive person. You know, I think, hey, it's almost over. It's great. If you didn't catch it or at least you didn't show symptoms of it, um, thank your lucky stars. Tip your hat, you know, um, respect those who did have to deal with it and we can all move on. And so, you know, it's a wonderful thing. And now we just got to get flu- through flu season. Ugh. But, but I feel like. If a, an entire if an entire family comes up COVID positive during the season, or a group of people, or whomever, or you know whatever it may be, something to do with a mask causing a breathing issue, that breathing issue causes someone to go down on a mountain, whatever it may be, I feel like there's going to be just liability lawsuit after liability lawsuit, and we see enough of them, and I've talked about this. I've said it several times that the mountains are just targets. And in the end, even the people who win their lawsuit, and again, 
I'm going to get into the fact that this isn't about everyone, every single lawsuit. This isn't about every person who gets hurt. This is about the ones that you notice who are full of shit. Absolutely full of shit. Um, there's been a few over the years um, where it, the there there was no negligence on the part of the ski mountain. It, it, it's obvious that the person who's suing and their legal team practically admit that it was that person's fault. Even though they bought the ticket, the ticket has all the rules on the back. It's on their websites. It's everywhere. We know skiing's dangerous. I can make a, a shameless plug joke about this, but I did the shirt, the shirt in the merch shop that says, that has the sign. Um, I wish I had one I could wear right now and show you, but I did the sign that says skiing and snowboarding are wicked dangerous. You could get hurt. You could die. That's really what it comes down to, and then people still go mess around, and they drink too much, or they're too goddamn high, or whatever, um, you know, or they're just messing around, or in a place they shouldn't be, they're not good enough to be, whatever it may be, the mountain ends up get, ends up getting blamed, and then someone sues the mountain, and they get a $2 million payoff, and now that mountain's kind of screwed, and this year, they can't afford lawsuits to lose lawsuits, they just can't. They're going to have trouble. Not the super big corporations, mind you, either. Like the Little Mountains, um, they they have these problems too. People sue the Little Mountains and they can barely afford the legal team in some cases. The smaller independent places can barely afford the legal team to fight these goddamn things. And they're still getting sued for $2 million, $3 million. And you hear about it. Um, the, the Last year, what was it? The kid from Pennsylvania who broke his leg saying he couldn't. He, that, that, um, there was, it was negligence that the trail, he didn't know it was closed and there was a big old piece of snow making equipment in the middle of the, of the trail. And the more, even if you read the legal documents, like this stuff is available, like not just because I'm part of the media, like it's available and you read it. It's like, dude, this was the middle of the day and you said you saw the rope. Like how the, how the fuck did you not know the trail was closed? And how could a piece of snowmaking equipment be negligently, neg it's bigger than us as people. It wasn't negligence. It wasn't. I think that guy won. I think there was another one against someone in Ma another the mountains in Massachusetts. Um, I didn't agree with the verdict in that one either. And again, who am I? I'm not a judge. I'm not a lawyer. You're right. But what I am is someone who very much believes in personal responsibility um, and consequence for one's actions or inactions, as the case may be. And I, I find that, you know, a lot of these negligence, like, oh, the, the ski resort acted negligently. I'm like, dude, they didn't put the trees there. Those grew there by them themselves. In fact, they took trees out so you could ski. Do you see what I'm saying? I really don't think I have to get into too much detail about this. And like I said, you can look these things up, including the court documents. I wish I could remember the mountains offhand. Go to skirexmedia.com and search out. You can find them from last year. Um, the articles I wrote about these uh, lawsuits that we talked about on the podcast. Um, I've talked about it with other people. Um, and, you know, it sucks to see people just suing mountains. That's just for every old run-of-the-mill season. Um, now, there's a whole other liability issue. And the mountains are pumping out all the information they can. The more information a place puts out, and this isn't just um, ski mountains. This is any business anywhere. Um, the more information you put out, the more signs you have up, the more, um, waivers and everything else. Um, sorry if you heard me bump the microphone, um, all of this stuff. And somehow people are still able to sue. That's the system we live in and it sucks. So here is me begging and pleading with you. Take a look at what happened. Take a look at what you did. Take a look what was done, what was done around you. And then really ask yourself, was it? negligence was it something that the mountain was it not your fault every time i have fallen every time i have gotten hurt on a mountain it is absolutely my fault with the right lawyer and i've told this story um my camelback story um when i hurt my back was in physical therapy for a month couldn't walk upright for like three weeks you know whatever it was I, with the right lawyer i could have sued camelback pennsylvania absolutely no joke. And it would have been really easy for a real sleazy lawyer to get it because it was after dark. Yeah, the lights are on, but it's dark and, and you know, whatever it may be. And boom, I could have gotten a payoff. I could have owned that mountain. It could be Ski Rex Media Mountain Resort today in the Poconos. 
But I wouldn't do that because that was my fault. That was absolutely my fault. My equipment wasn't maintained the way it should have been. Um, and I went down and I rolled out of it. And I'm probably lucky I didn't get hurt worse. Instead of finding someone to sue, I, I, I went, did my thing, went to, the, went to the doctor, went through x-rays, MRI, all kinds of other stuff, specialist, and you know, ended up only having to do a month of physical therapy. Believe me, it could have been worse. Now, you can say to me, Tim, what about the ones that are worse? What about people who are permanently injured or killed? Again, I don't want to seem like I'm cold-hearted because I'm not. I really am not. I am very sensitive as a matter of fact. I'm a very loving person. I wear my emotions on my sleeves from time to time, and I will. I can feel sympathy, but if you're telling a story... And it's like, wait, that person did what? They they ducked a rope? Like that rope is there for a reason. Not to say I haven't done it. I, I have in my youth, youthful capriciousness. I've ducked a few ropes in my day. I've gone on trails I probably shouldn't have been on before I was able to ski and before I had the, you know, the experience to be able to ski them. And if I would have gotten hurt and then even more so seriously hurt, severely hurt, injured or dead... It was my fault. And I can, I can say that about every, any time I've been, and I've never been seriously hurt except for my back. Prior to that, I've never been seriously injured on skis. Um, for a while there, I wasn't falling at all. And you know what they say, if you're not falling in skiing or snowboarding, you're really not trying. Um, that's a bit, that's a bit, that's an old joke. Like that's a really old one. I'm not saying try, do things that you shouldn't be doing. I'm just saying that's a bit, it's an old bit. Mm. But the point stands is that I would never, especially now at this point in my life, I would never blame someone for something I did. I am more than willing to take personal responsibility for my actions or inactions, um, you know, on anything. Like, again, it's like I always say, Ski Rex Media um, lessons are also life lessons. You can apply them to different things in your life. Just go down the list and you can apply some of the stuff I'm trying to teach you, some of my wisdom I'm trying to teach you. And again, I see that going in the lawsuit direction like people are not going to take responsibility for their actions this this winter and i'm asking them i'm begging them through this little platform that i have please take responsibility for it you go you're going to a mountain they have said that covid19 can be pretty easy to catch you could catch it (laughs) even if you're wearing a mask even if you're socially distant even if you don't go in the restaurants don't go in the rental shops um you know, don't go in the bathrooms. Like, you know, no matter what you do, no matter what they do, you might still catch it. We know that. Um, I'm not saying COVID-19 is like the flu, but it, it but, but, it, but it is, you, you can catch that no matter how hard you try. I try very hard when, when, uh, when, when, uh, um, the CDC and everybody was saying, you know, make sure you watch your hands, don't touch your face, um, you know, don't stick your fingers in your mouth like a baby, um, you know, don't lick the handrail, whatever it was, wash your hands all the time. And I'm like, dude, that's my life. That is my life. I will tell you the honest to God truth. For years during flu season now, I've thought about wearing a mask anyway, just to not get it, just to not get it. But I always felt weird. Even talking about it, people say, Tim, you're a fucking germaphobe. I'm not saying I'm a germaphobe, but I'm not saying that they're wrong either. In any case, now it's now I can and now everybody's doing it and it's required so I don't look strange. So I'm good with that. You know, um, never got the flu shot though, but that's a whole other issue. Not that I'm an anti-vaxxer. I'm not. Uh, I've just never done it because I, I usually do pretty good with that. It doesn't matter. That part, that doesn't matter. The point is... You may still catch it, and I, I feel that as soon as one or two people, like we know, if a if a large group of folks pull uh, come up uh, COVID positive during the winter at a specific mountain, that mountain's getting shut, like it's going to be shut down, and depending on which state it is, it might get them all shut down. You know, like here in Vermont, we have you know however many ski resorts we have. I can't remember the exact number offhand which is really bad. I should know that um, off the top of my head. Um, If one, and it could be as simple as, you know, one up in the north 
um, pulls a whole group of people positive, it's going to close everybody all the way to Massachusetts. Like that's just going to happen or it's, there's a possibility of it happening. Um, but I feel like even though all the precautions are taking place, even though it's this natural thing, I really feel like there's going to be someone somewhere who's going to say, um, yeah, maybe they, maybe it was, it was the mountain. They, they didn't sanitize as well as they could have or, or as often as they should have because I had my mask and I had my gloves and I had my goggles, which we all have anyway. But, you know, they're going to say that and like I shouldn't have caught it and I got sick and now they should be paying for it and something on top of that. Um, and that's just not true. It's just not true because we know we could get it. Just going outside, you could catch it. Or maybe you can't depending on where you live. I mean, if you live in a very rural place... Like, I live in a very rural place. You know, we've had almost, you know, compared to, like, the cities, we've had nothing. We've had nothing. So, the ch- my chances, you know, based on where I am, we're, we're, we're less. You know what I'm saying? And if you put yourself in that position, and skiing is still going to be very popular, even with limited capacities and and and, and distancing and reserv- and all that, you, you know what's going to go, you know what's going on for the winter, I feel like it's going to add to the liability lawsuits and it shouldn't. And it's a shame because I bet you not on a single day ticker anywhere. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I could be wrong. Everybody could have it somewhere. All these mountains. I mean, again, the corporations, they have armies of lawyers. Like these people are working around the clock to make sure they don't get sued. And if they do, they're working even harder to try and get out of it. At times when they shouldn't have to work at all because it's like, dude, that was on you. You went there. You touched things. You breathed the same air. And maybe you wore a mask. Maybe you didn't. But it's on you. And that goes for not just, you know, the season of COVID-19. That goes for every season. You know, your broken leg could be you. You know, your broken arm could be you. Your twisted back, your busted knee. Like, you know, skiing's a very knee-intensive sport. And I don't think I'm wrong by saying that a lot of, if not most of, and again, that's only an opinion of Tim from Ski Rex Media. I do not look at the numbers. I would take, I would have to pour through legal documents for years to prove that point. But we also know that, you know, in, what was it, 90, 1993 or 1994, a woman sued McDonald's for because her coffee was too hot. Like, come on, man. Coffee's hot. <laughs> like, we know that. And it's been, there's been jokes made about it. Even now, almost 30 years later, we're still making jokes about it. Yet it's still happening. And again, it happens in a lot of other things, too. It's because this is Ski Rex Media. We're talking about, you know, Ski Rex, Ski Mountain um, lawsuits, obviously. But there's other things. Like I just said, that was food service. Um you know, uh, burglars who have sued homeowners for getting hurt in their house and succeeded. Um, you know, other, you know, I've, we saw, I lurked in retail. A lot of you have too, I'm sure. You've seen that too. People slip on the floor and it's like, bro, there was nothing there. We have cameras. Like, come on, man. And then people do try to fake it as well. Um, which has also been proven, luckily, with the cameras. You know, some people say all the cameras all over the place is like 1984 and Big Brother Watch, and I say, fuck that. It's going to keep people honest. And maybe not keep them honest, but at least we'll catch them when they're being dishonest. So please, dear goodness gracious, dear God, dear whatever, whomever, don't go suing the mountain this year if you have a COVID-19 issue. Um don't and then again if you get hurt really look at it like if if there's a puddle on the floor in the lodge that someone slipped in and people are walking past it it is not marked it is not cleaned up and can actually be proven negligence if somebody behind the old cafeteria counter is getting thinking who the hell they are and trying to juggle ladles while they're dishing out chowder and splashes hot ass chowder across someone's face go get them you know do what you got to do but if you take a spoonful of said chowder and burn the shit out of your mouth, that was on you. Absolutely. We've all done it and we shouldn't be able to sue for it. We shouldn't be able to sue for getting hurt unless there was real negligence. Um, and, and if and some of these things, man, it's like, you know, they could happen. 
you know they can and you know they will and sometimes it's just not right and it's all because people want to make a quick buck there's still a lot of greed um in this world in humanity um and i have a whole other you know bunch of theories on that too um, but they don't apply. They're not here. We're not talking ski right. That's that's one of those uh, some of those other life lessons that you could apply ski rex media wisdom to. So can we all agree now to really take a look at the incident before we go running to our lawyers? You know what I mean? And and sometimes you know these people get what's coming to them. Lord knows that that dude at Mountain Creek who beat the kid up and like stuck him with his uh, 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 pole, he got a really weird sentence. Like he has to go to jail once a year uh, for, uh, for like a weekend or something. I can't remember that either. I, I, I'm i telling you, man, the memory is shot. And I mean, I always say you can't remember everything, but I can't seem to remember anything. But um, that guy, you know, he tried to lawyer up. He tried to talk his way out of it. And everybody like, nah, dude, you were caught. You were busted. You beat up a kid. You raged. You ski raged. We've talked about ski rage here on Ski Rex Media as well. Um, and now you get to be punished, although it's kind of a weak punishment. I mean, going to jail even for a day is going to suck, I'm sure. But having to do it for like a day or two, once a year, for a couple of years is not the same as going for a couple of years. So even then, that dude kind of got off easy, I would imagine. Um, you know, look that one up. But can we all agree not to sue the mountain? Like, we all know we could get sick. You know, this is a pandemic. They're called, you know, it's been called a pandemic. It's everywhere. It's popped up all over. I don't think there's a single country in the world who hasn't counted at least one. There might be, but, you know, I doubt it. Especially if they have large modern cities. You know, you could catch it. Um, but then you could catch it going to get donuts in the morning at Dunkin' Donuts at the drive thru. So, don't blame the hill unless it is absolutely necessary to blame them if they are actually actually at fault. Um, and then don't, you know, don't don't overlook your responsibility in it. You know, is it a consequences of actions you took or actions you did not take um, or what what have you? Don't sue. Right. And I know I know there's a bunch of Skirex Media fans who agree with me. Please don't sue. I'm asking you right now. I mean, and again, I'm not telling everybody if there if you have an honest to God legit point, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. Um, I used that goofy chowder, you know, a few minutes ago, that chowder example a few minutes ago, and that's that was goofy, could happen, unlikely, but you know, it, to that point where it's something obvious and real. And even if it's not obvious, but provable, like honest to God, like you're being honest, you're telling the truth, you're not lying, you're not being dishonest. Do what you gotta do. But take a look at yourself and really say, you know what? I fucked up and I have to live with that. You know what I mean? Am I wrong? Am I right? I don't know. Do you think I'm a prick? Talking about this sometimes kind of kind of has me always thinking people are going to think I'm a prick because I'm not saying, you know, I'm not defending anybody and I'm not trying to throw anybody under the bus at the same time. I'm just saying, take responsibility for your actions or inactions, you know, and only go after those when there's actually something wrong, something that needs to be handled and dealt with. Does that make sense? Does that not make sense? Let me know what you think here at Ski Rex Media if you want to. You can email Ski Rex Media at Ski Rex number four um, ever. E-V-E-R at gmail.com. Link in the description. You can also go and follow and use the direct messaging um, services from Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Check those out. Also linked in the description. You can, uh, if you really like the show and you want to get in on uh, supporting the show, go ahead and check out the Patreon. And that that covers everything. This website, the the blog, the news, the uh, the, the, the podcast here and all the other videos that seem to come out. Plus some we're going to be doing this uh, this uh, this winter actually. Um, and speaking of what we're doing this winter, I want you to check it out. Today, it's going to go live, probably not in the morning. Well, if it's afternoon, this the podcast goes up in the morning, but if it's in the afternoon, check it out. I have an Indie Pass. Not the one I'm going to use, but another one that I'm going to give away. So if you're interested in getting an Indie Pass for zero money, I'm giving it to you. An Indie Pass Two days at 50 plus mountains across the United States and Canada. I know we can't go back and forth between the United States and Canada right now, but you know what I mean. And um, check that out. And I will give it to you and you can see how to enter. Go to my social media accounts and Twitter, Facebook, and uh, uh, Instagram. 
Go check that out. Um, links are down in the description or just go to skirexmedia.com. And as I always said, don't go to the links and look at the links if you're listening to the audio, audio version in your car. Wait till you stop or get home or get to work or get to wherever you are going. Don't text and drive and don't look at your phone and drive. It's not safe. Right? Right. Now, check out the giveaway. You'll have to go to uh, skirexmedia.com or social, my social media pages for that um, for your very own free Indie Pass from me, from the wonderful people over at Indie Pass. That's where I'll be skiing most of this winter. It's going to be great. Um, for now, have a good afternoon, evening, morning, whenever you're listening to this. Um, uh, or a good Thursday if you're waiting till the next day, or whatever day it might be. Have a good day. I will see you on the next one. I'm pretty sure we're doing a live stream this week, this Saturday, so check that out too. Again, follow Ski Rex Media on social media for all the information on scheduling and all that other stuff, and like, obviously SkiRexMedia.com. And like I said, if you think I'm completely out of line with this lawsuit stuff, let me know. There's a ton of ways to contact the uh, the old program, the old Ski Rex Media. Right, right. I will see you later. Have a good one, y'all. See you on the winter. Bye.